What's going on y'all? It is Cop Pizzle. It's been a few days since I made some content. Um, just really processing the start of the season. Obviously, I'm disappointed. I'm bummed out. I, I really feel like we should be two and two. I don't think we should have lost the Commanders game. Um... You know, in some cases, I felt like we really had we we had a we had a great opportunity to win the Cowboy game, and we just couldn't do it. You know, a lot of giant content creators right now it's doom and gloom. Our season's a wrap. It's all Daniel Jones's fault, and um, you know, it's inevitable that we will have a bad season. And and they're slobbing on the knobs of of Washington, the Washington Commanders, and whatever. So. Here's kind of where I'm at on things, okay? So just kind of kind of update you guys on on how I feel. So look, I'm I'm bummed out. I um I still have a lot of hope in the Giants this season. There's a lot of bright spots to me on this team. I don't think the Giants are as bad as some people make them out to be. Um I certainly don't think Daniel Jones. Let, let, let me let me just say this. I don't want so much of my content to be so Daniel Jones heavy because it comes off like I'm so, I'm this Daniel Jones, you know, just big supporter. And like, I do support Daniel Jones. I believe in Daniel Jones. But in my opinion, I think so many people are so hard on him. And I get that the last game, they didn't score a touchdown, but I really feel like there was other variables there. Um, you know, here's the thing. A lot of people say, well, it's Daniel Jones' is bad quarterback play. And I say, okay, well let me watch let me watch him play. And I say to myself, well, this isn't this isn't bad quarterback play by any means. Uh, because you can't watch Daniel Jones play, for example, against the Cowboys, regardless if he scored a touchdown or not, and then turn the game on Monday night and watch the Dolphins and Titans and tell me that 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 that's the same level of quarterback play that Daniel Jones is. I I I that I don't I don't know I don't believe that. Okay. Bad quarterback play is watching the Titans and Dolphins game. Huntley, Mason Rudolph, and in some cases Will Levis. That's bad fucking quarterback play. Okay? See, a lot of people, a lot of content creators, they want to use those terms like bad quarterback or bad, you know, these bad no no no. See, you're overusing that word th those words. You're overdoing it. Okay? He may not be great. He may not be elite, but he definitely ain't what you some of you make him out to be. Bottom line. A lot of you guys are like, well, he's missing the deep shots. He's missing the deep shots. How many quarterbacks in the fucking league right now are hitting the deep shots? I got Mel Kuyper on ESPN talking about how the NFL needs to ban two high safeties. Literally because they can't get the ball down the field. You're, you, a lot of you guys' hero, Pat Mahomes, is a dinky dink and dunker. He really is. Watch the Chiefs. Watch the Chiefs next game and tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. That man is not throwing the ball 30, 40 yards down the field and hitting anybody in stride like you think he is. He's a dinker and dunker. And, ex and, and the reality is, is that the playbook and the guys around him are playing at a very high level. Very high level. Now, he's great. Mahomes is great. Absolutely. Does his job fantastic. But you guys are, are, I'm telling you, watch the next one. Watch his next game and tell me I'm fucking lying. Count it. Count it. Do, 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 get you a notebook and a, and a pen and count it up. Show me how many, count up how many 20 to 25 yard shots he takes. Do it. Please do it. The Nas, they're not taking most of these quarterbacks in the league are not taking deep shots like you think. They're not because they're they're not high percentage throws. It's like basketball. They're not high percentage shots. So yeah, Daniel missed some on, on, against the Cowboys. Yeah, it would have been great if they connected. Yeah, but guess what? There was a lot of other issues other than just Daniel Jones. And the fact that you people continue to point the finger. To me, it's just so is so pathetic. But let me say this. Let me get to the point that you, you will like. I still have hope that the Giants can find their find them find themselves in the playoffs. 
But when your team is one in three, you really got no business talking playoffs. Make no mistake about it. At where we are right now, Daniel Jones, as much as I hate to say this, and where we are as a team, we're fighting to keep Daniel Jones on this roster at this point. Because obviously, if the Giants continue to go down this pace, where we only win one out of every four games, we win one game a month, then the Giants are going to be at a, in, a, in a high draft spot predicament. And we could be looking in a situation where they're drafting a quarterback. And I will be honest with you. I'm going to tell you this right now. As a, as a somebody who, I mean, look at the, I mean, this is not a green screen behind me, okay? I love me some New York Giants football. I believe there are bigger issues on this team than quarterback play, okay? But I will admit that if you are in a position to upgrade the position, if you see fit to do so, then you do so. But truth be told, I don't think that that's this position that we even need to upgrade. But obviously, you don't draft, you know, a, a cornerback number two if you're the fifth overall pick, right? You don't do that. So I get it. I get the, I get what what's on the line here. But in my opinion. If the Giants can rattle off some wins, you know, get more, you know, being be in the games, you know, look, I, I think I the thing is outside of the Minnesota game, the uh, the other three games they were in those games, you know, they were in those games and they either won them or they lost them, and so, you know, the Giants just have to continue to find ways to stay in games. I have I have I'm optimistic about the Seattle game because. You know, I think Seattle kind of got a little bit beat up against Detroit. And every time somebody has played Detroit this season, uh, the following game, they haven't done really well. So, um, you know, I'm hoping that the little extra rest that the Giants got, the short week for Seattle, is something that's going to be beneficial to us and hurt them. Um, I still believe in the Giants, guys. I really do. I, 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 I really do believe but uh, I understand what the deal is going forward for the rest of the season in terms of the quarterback and and what the team needs to do. So make no mistake about it. But I'm going to tell you this. You're free to do whatever you want to, but I just still think it's absolute, absolutely pathetic that people blame the quarterback for the failures of this team and uh, the position that this team currently is in.